Thank you, Speaker. The term war crime is one we hear often, but I want to explain what it actually means. This is important in light of the escalation of civilian deaths in Gaza, despite the efforts to negotiate a peace by Australia and other countries with much more influence. Australia and, and many other countries have called for Israel to abide by the International Court of Justice ruling that it must take measures to prevent genocide in Gaza. It is tragic that nearly six months on that the situation continues to be devastating, with little progress made towards a ceasefire. Meanwhile, the people of Gaza are suffering on a scale that is unimaginable, living with daily bombings, deaths and starvation, mainly because of Israel's refusal to let enough food into Gaza. Blocking the, that is both official and achieved via systemic ghost lows and uh, citizen action that's unlawful. How could anyone perpetrate such an act of barbarism on children? I travelled to Israel as part of a parliamentary delegation, something not funded by lobbyists, and I witnessed the way that Palestinians were treated. Daily lives ruled by checkpoints. I saw different roads for different races, and I know that there are two systems of justice for children based on race. I'm not here to list the war crimes committed since October the 7th last year, but I do want to call out the atrocities with the intention that the world holds all perpetrators to account. I'm talking about the deliberate targeting of civilians, especially women and children, indiscriminate rocket attacks and the taking of civilians as hostages. I'm also talking about Israel's deliberate obstruction of basic services, water, fuel and aid to Gaza. These are the acts that Human Rights Watch have described as collective punishment that amount to war crimes and include the use of starvation of civilians as a weapon of war. The UN High Commissioner has grave concerns about Israel's compliance with international humanitarian law, including the principles of distinction, proportionality and precautions in attack. The world is watching this horrific conflict. Yeah. 